All right, it's gym session time. Kathy's down here already this morning baking. Morning. What are you working on? Banana bread. Ooh, nice. She makes amazing banana bread. Excited for that. Thanks, babe. Before we do our gym session, though, one thing is critical. Coffee. Let me show you how we do it. <laughs> to the pain cave. Don't look. All right, here we are in the garage. We've got our bike setup area over here. Workbench, we're in the midst of building new bikes and selling our old bikes and all that sort of stuff. So it's a little bit messy, ignore that. Then we've got our strength training area over here. We'll dig into Got the propane heater going because it's quite cold outside. It's only about, I don't know, 20 degrees in here right now, but we'll warm up pretty quick. And then we've got our indoor bike session station here um, where we do all our indoor stuff, which we have to do sometimes when it's 20 degrees out. And then all of our uh, equipment and getting ready kind of stuff. Um, I've got my shelf of shoes and helmets. Kathy's got hers. Sophia's got hers and all our nutrition and extra stuff. So that's the weight endurance pancake. We're going to show you a little inside look of our strength sessions. Um, strength training is super critical. I like to spend about three to five weeks of like concentrated heavy weightlifting, like three times a week. We use this handy dandy spreadsheet we've used over the years um, to calculate training loads and stuff because I'm going to lift a little bit different weights than like Sophia will lift and so on. Uh, but it keeps us progressing and we'll go from there. So. We'll show you what this kind of workout looks like. All right, so we like to start each training session off with what we call movement prep, which is really just a five minute self-guided routine of getting the body going, just getting things activated. So this is the beginnings of a warm up. Like to finish with a little deep sumo squat here. Open those hips up. The old guys gotta keep that range of motion in his joints. Okay, after our movement prep, we get into our core sets. Uh, we like to focus on three core movements each training session, and the movements vary a little bit, but we always like to focus on the anterior front side of our torso, then we hit the obliques, the side portions, and then we like to hit the posterior involving our low back, butt, hamstrings, those sorts of muscles, just to get us continued uh, warmed up for the heavy lifting that follows. Okay, now on for our main, one, first of two main strength sets. The first one we do a explosive box jump, then a back squat, followed by either a push or a pull for the upper body.
we focus on kettlebell swing for a power hip hinge power movement, follow that with a heavy deadlift, and then finish that off with the opposing push or pull movement that you didn't do. That's the session. It's pretty heavy weightlifting, but we do it for about, oh, uh, gradually progressing it up to about four weeks worth of heavy lifting, three times a week. And, you know, honestly, the legs feel pretty dead during this period, so we don't ride a whole lot um, and even partake in some wintertime cross training activities. Once we get through this phase recover, we're pretty pretty darn strong and ready to really pile on some bike mileage. <laughs>